All right, Merry Christmas to everyone. Um, this is the watch this video. I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I am making a video on Christmas here. Um, this is the watch this video for Tuesday, December 26th. Uh, looks like not a lot of action on Friday. No, I did not trade Friday. I traded Thursday the first hour. Didn't trade Friday at all. Um, and now we're ready to get back at it. So the watch this for Tuesday. Let's just go into SGLB. Um, very big pop in this name from $1.50 ish to almost $4.50 before settling at $3.30. $3.50, sorry. And we'll see what we can get on that one. I mean, it's extended right now, but maybe we get a red to green, something like that. I definitely want to watch that all week. CCIH, um, if you traded on Friday, even if you didn't, you probably know uh, Bitcoin got slapped pretty hard. And uh, let's see, a lot of these things gapped down. Um, but this one closed above its open, so I've, I've chosen to watch a couple of the, you know, the recent Bitcoin-related high flyers because there's, um, to me, a lot more money to be made in those than actually trading Bitcoin because you can get in and out of these things and, uh, and move on to the next one. Um, NXTD falls into that same category. This one's actually holding up pretty darn well, so we're going to watch that one. FTFT, same thing. Um, that one actually got halted, it looks like, on Friday and then came out of the halt and really ripped before kind of giving some of that profit back. But Certainly looks good um, going into next or going into the rest of this week. Sorry, uh, JRJC, same category. So I'm not going into a lot of detail on these because they're all Bitcoin related stocks, and uh, we're looking for you know potential moves in them on on Tuesday. So um, PTI, non Bitcoin related, had the gap up, came back down, kind of tested the eight day. Um, I had it on watch, I think, when it looked like this, and then it popped up a little bit, and then it looks like on Friday had it, uh, I'm sorry. On Wednesday, then Thursday, and then Friday had a nice pop, uh, topping out right around six bucks. So this one seems to have found support, and the next logical move might be still higher. We'll watch that one all week. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, MICT. This one's starting to get volume again. It seems to have found support around a buck. Had a nice pop on. Let me get my days right. Yeah, on Thursday, then kind of a quiet inside day on Friday. I want to watch that one. Um, M-A-R-K holding up very well. This is a strong, strong stock. So definitely want to keep my eyes on this one. Had a nice pop on Friday. Um, R-S-Y-S, -S, kind of a handsome daily chart here. It's, it hit on big volume. It hit $1.23 earlier in December. Then on Thursday, hit $1.23 again. And then a quiet kind of nothing day on Friday. It actually gapped down. So I don't know. I'm not in love with this one. If it closed Friday close to this, you know, dollar twenty three high from um, December, I'd be much more interested in it. But it, you know, closing all the way down here, I don't know. I'm gonna watch it. Let's just see if it can get some traction. Uh, love it over a dollar twenty three one of these days, but uh, we'll see. MYO nice volume spike on Friday, and um, this thing looks good. You know, gapped down and then popped to three fifty nine. Came in, put in a lower high. And then uh, took out that 359, and then you know actually settling in pretty strong on Friday, hitting a high of 410. Um, I think this one's got some more room to go. We're gonna watch that one. A couple more NVFY. Um, I, another somehow they've made a furniture store Bitcoin related. Uh, what else have we seen? Cigar stores, candy stores. I don't know what else, but uh, I don't know. We'll watch it. Okay, uh, it, it's showing some great strength lately. Had this big gap up. They got slapped right back down, lower high. Then you know it's kind of building, building, and um, you know, it's holding up very, very well amidst all the chaos. So I do like this one going into this week. Um, it's still kind of far from the moving averages, but uh, I'm not sure that that matters if something's deemed to be Bitcoin related. And lastly, I have Riot, um, which has fallen now from over 45 to at one point on Friday, $20 basically uh, before settling into 24. So this one's on bounce watch. Um, you know, it's well off its highs. It's kind of I hate to call it the leader, but it's kind of the one it seems like traders look to to uh, determine if the Bitcoin stocks are going to move that day. Um, so this one is a, a huge discount from a few days ago. I think it's worth watching too. Um, I'm going to leave it at that, man. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas, and we'll see everybody on Tuesday morning.